An Alexis Arguello Edwin Rosario mythical matchup is one of the great what if scenarios from the 1980s. Uh, Rosario was a fast rising contender in the lightweight division, and by 1982, he was seen as an heir apparent to the throne held by Alexis Arguello. But Arguello elected to move up in weight in an attempt to become boxing's first four division champion by fighting Aaron Pryor for his junior welterweight title. So, what would have happened if El Flaco Explosivo met El Chapo? Arguello would have a huge edge in ex experience, but Rosario would have an 11 year age advantage, plus a fighting style that would uh, give Arguello fits. You know, Rosario fought in a pendulum rhythm. He fought on his toes, uh, going in and out. He got great positioning with his footwork and would strike like a cobra with his left hook or right cross. You know, he has to be considered one of the hardest hitting lightweights of all time. You know, he had fight ending concussive power in both hands and he could box when he wanted to. He had great head movement and defense. His only weakness was that he could be outmuscled by steel-chinned fighters who could bully him to the ropes. Uh, but you know, during his, this time period of 1980s, only guys like Jose Luis Ramirez or Julio Cesar Chavez could do that to him. Uh, Rosario also suffered from drug addiction, which uh, led to some uh, low points, uh, some layoffs in his career. Uh, meanwhile, Arguello wasn't a fighter who imposed his physicality in the same way Chavez did. You know, Chavez could close the gap quicker, but Arguello could dissect an opponent similar to Chavez with his left hooks to the body and overhand rights to the head. Uh, sometimes he'd start slow like Chavez, you know, giving away the first two rounds or so. But like a train gaining steam, he would punctuate the pace by the middle rounds and finish his opponents shortly thereafter after he uh, solved their defensive patterns and just broke them down. So, how would this fight take place in 1982? I see Rosario dictate, dictating the pace early, and I wouldn't be surprised if he floored Arguello even more than once in the early going. But Arguello would have enough experience to weather the storm. You know, sometimes it took Arguello a few rounds to time his opponents. And the key question here is if Rosario would be able to maintain the points lead over the course of the fight and uh, take it to a decision. You know, Arguello had trouble with slick movers like uh, Viomar Fernandez. But uh, Fernandez's movements were more side to side, and he was a little bit quicker than Rosario. Rosario's movement, his, his rhythm is like I said, he's like a pendulum. He's going in and out. He really doesn't circle his opponents like uh, Fernandez did, you know, and just staying away. He wants to attack. So I think Arguello would eventually get his timing down and corner Rosario and uh, break him down by the middle rounds, have him in retreat, and, you know, eventually he'd land his big right cross and possibly even stop him in the late rounds. I, I think he would take a, a get a late round stoppage here. The key here, if they fought, was if the fight took place in 1982. Anything beyond 1982, it goes to 12 rounds. And uh, Rosario is a younger man, so I would favor anything beyond, like, the summer of 1983 onward, I would favor Rosario to beat Arguello if they, they met in real time. He would be just too fast, uh, and he would overpower Arguello. So that's it for this episode. Uh, if you have any mythical fights you'd like me to discuss, feel free to uh, hit me in the DMs or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.